All right, it is not really a music video, music video, day two. I'm gonna document the whole process of filming this video, so stay tuned. Good morning, this is Diamandi from Getting In Character, and today we're gonna film a music video. Okay, well not exactly, but something like that. Let me explain. Yesterday, one of my friends called me. He's a musical artist and he's gonna make a lyrical video for one of the songs he's releasing. And he asked me to shoot a little bit of B-roll for the video. So it needs to be done by tomorrow. And it's gonna rain today, it's overcast. So that's the perfect time to shoot outside because the light will be mostly even and there won't be any hot spots. The sun won't be shining in my eye. So I'm planning on shooting outside and trying out some of the new equipment I have, like maybe a gimbal. I'm using the Filmic Pro app right now and with a handy dandy remote. So I'll definitely probably be using that too. Um, I just woke up, excuse my bonnet and my retainer. Don't sleep on the bonnet ministry, y'all. I'm gonna document the whole process of filming this video, so stay tuned. And you know what I'm most excited about? Choosing a wig to wear. Ah! Hey, so it's about 12 o'clock and I'm gonna start getting ready for the video. I'm getting a little bit nervous, so I think I'm gonna play some music to calm my spirits. Um, I did a few chores around the house, so now I'm ready to get down to business. Here is a look at a quick makeup job. If you'd like a detailed video on how I did this look for on camera, let me know in the description box below. I decided to go with this bob wig because it's easy. I felt overwhelmed by the project and I wanted to do things as simply as possible to keep from feeling more overwhelmed. This wig is ready to go out of the box. The style quickly became one of my favorites because other than being easy, it's classy and really natural looking. I did not put any heat on it or tweeze the part or hairline. For all the shots, I used my new phone to film and my old phone as a viewer.
With the remote app, I can see what the camera is seeing, plus adjust focus and exposure. I had this exciting idea to do cutaway shots of my feet moving. It didn't work out. The shot is completely out of focus. I was glad I tried it. Next time, I'll set up the camera a little bit higher so there's less foreground. Also, stiletto heels on gravel does not work very well. Wobble wobble. All right, it's toward the end of the day. The sun's going down. I wasn't gonna go out and shoot some more, but it was drizzling. So I may shoot again tomorrow the same look. So I didn't really like how what I did today came out. We're our own toughest critic, what can I say? All right, but that's the end of filming today. I'm gonna get some things set up for tomorrow and I'm thinking maybe green screen. We'll see. Oh, and I tore my room up. Look at this. I mean, you would think I was graduating, getting married or something. Ridiculous. All right, it is not really a music video, music video, day two. I got ready. I spared you going through that with me today. And today, we are going to try the gimbal and see what happens. Yesterday, I used a tripod. So today, let's see what the gimbal's about. All right, let's head outside. Out here, we're down here in like two minutes and it started raining. There's the garden. I'm the mom. <laughs> it was raining, now it's pouring, but I'm still trying to figure out how to get some shots, maybe. Just had an idea. I'm gonna try to get an umbrella and shoot with the umbrella in one hand and the gimbal in another. <laughs> the sound will be cool. It's something to try. You can let me know what you think about it. Here, I'm trying to create a good opening scene or shot that will transition well into the other clips. I'm using the selfie cam to make sure I stay in frame. The gimbal keeps the shot pretty stable. Since filming this video, I discovered the gimbal has object follow capability. Next time, I'll use the tracking feature to film with the back camera and get 4K resolution. So the rain slowed to a drizzle, so I came back out to investigate. I did a few of these things, and then I found another spot. Y'all, I got a new little filming spot. It doesn't look that great here. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Um, yeah, being super tight in it, like, here. Oh, it looks pretty good. So, done filming for the day. Well, at least this particular project. I've been watching a lot of Instagram and YouTube videos about how to create B-roll. I tried it here for this behind the scenes video, but not for my friend, just to show you guys actually to try to make this video more interesting. This location was a good cover from the drizzle, although maybe a little dark, but I may even have turned down the exposure to quiet the hot spots. Anyway, the greenery frames the shot nicely. Update. My friend texted me tonight and said that the videos were not 
high quality enough, which is true because I forgot, because I have this new phone and I'm using this stuff, I forgot to move it over to 4K. So some of it was recording in 1080p and some of it on the selfie cam, which I mean, I don't know what that is. Maybe 720, at least I hope. So maybe the footage won't get used. I don't know, it's okay. I tried. I learned some things along the way. It can only get better. Don't know what's gonna happen, stay tuned.